Hi, I'm Paul DeMatty, Vice President of Sales for the Eastern Region of the United States, and welcome to this edition of Ask the Expert, our podcast series. Today, we will be answering a question submitted by John Glinsky, owner of Crane Training and Safety Consultants. The question is, what is the intended use and application of Crosby Sling Saber Web Sling Shackles? John, that is a great question and one we get often from participants in our Crosby Rigging Seminars. The Sling Saver Web Sling Shackle line is a unique product that offers the rigger in the field another option when connecting web slings to the load. These shackles come in a traditional screw pin design and bolt nut and cotter pin. The S253, as shown here, in a screw pin design is intended for pick and place applications. The S252, as shown here, of similar design comes with a bolt nut and cotter pin for permanent installation applications. Let us take a look at Crosby's catalog page for further details pertaining to Crosby's Sling Saber Web Sling Shackle Line. Both the S252 and S253 are available in sizes three and a quarter to 50 metric tons. All are made of an alloy steel construction. All have a design factor of five to one and each shackle has a product identification code for material traceability along with a working load limit and the name Crosby permanently forged into the shackle bow. A key feature of these shackles is the increased radius of the bow as seen here, which gives the slings a wider bearing surface resulting in increased area for load distribution. This feature also allows for 100% of the slings working load limit to be achieved while also allowing better load distribution of the sling's internal fibers. It also removes the potential for what we consider bunching of the sling, which would potentially be found in a traditional anchor or chain style shackle. In addition, Crosby offers guidance on angular loading of both S252 and S253 shackles. Let us take a look at Crosby's technical data sheet for further details pertaining to the Sling Saver Web Sling Shackle line. Based on the chart shown in the technical data sheet for shackle sizes three and a quarter metric ton to 50 metric ton, a reduction in working load limit must be taken into account any time a shackle is loaded greater than 10 degrees in line. For example, any angle from in line 11 to 20 degrees will result in a 15% reduction in the shackle stated working load limit. 21 to 30 degrees from in line will result in a 25% reduction in the working load limit stated on the shackle, as well as a 31 to 45 degree angle from in line will result in a reduction of 30% and the stated working load limit of the shackle being used. Thanks, John, for the question, and we'll see you next time on Ask the Expert.